Bunkering System A typical bunkering system on any ship consists of manifold connection on deck, manifold valves, sampling unit for taking samples, temperature and pressure gauges, pipelines, line valves, storage tanks, settling and service tanks, and transfer pumps. Before bunkering, only those valves must be opened for the tanks which are bunkered. All other valves must be shut. For example, if we are bunkering in one port and one starboard, the following valves must be open. Manifold valve, main line isolating valve, one port and one starboard valve. All other valves must be shut. See the simple animation to view the flow of fuel oil in both tanks. Remember, check soundings of other tanks and confirm there is no rise in levels. This is to make sure that there are no leaking valves or valves that are kept accidentally open. Bunkering Procedure Before bunkering The procedure for bunkering starts two days before the actual operation. You must check the vents of all bunker tanks and clean them if necessary to prevent accumulation of vapors inside the tank during bunkering. Check all line valves and ensure they operate smoothly. Grease manifold connection bolts to save you from last minute delays, which arise when bolts and valves are difficult to open. Make a bunker plan and decide on the final cutoff soundings in each tank to enable you in deciding the required flow rate during the bunkering process, especially during topping up. Check and ensure that the pressure and temperature gauges at the manifold are working satisfactorily. Monitor the pressure to ensure that you are well within the tested pressure of the pipeline. Monitor the temperature of the fuel at the manifold as it is very important for your bunker calculation. A few tons are lost if a wrong temperature is used for bunker calculations. Ensure that you shut all the valves on the transfer pump and switch off powers before bunkering. During bunkering, line up all the valves leading to the tanks as per your bunker plan. Make the manifold connections properly using proper gaskets. Tighten the bolts to the required torque. Keep communicating with the bridge and engine room. Keep a bucket under the manifold flange to collect the bunker sample. This sample collection by drip method of sampling continues slowly for the total period of bunkering. This ensures that you collect a representative sample of the entire quantity bunkered sent for analysis. Request bunker barge to start pumping slowly. Make a thorough check for leakages from flanges and pipes. Ensure that oil is filling up the tanks that you have lined up and is not filling up any other tank. This can be done by feeling vapor exhausting from the vents. Confirm by taking actual soundings of the filling tanks. Once confirmed, request the barge to increase the pumping rate as agreed upon initially. Monitor the pressure and temperature during the entire bunkering process. During final top-up stage, request the barge to decrease the flow rate to prevent undue overflow from vents. All the overflow pipes provided at the top of tanks lead to the overflow tank. The sight glass provided on overflow pipes will indicate any overflow of oil. After bunkering, wait a few minutes for the oil to settle down. Take all the soundings and calculate quantity bunkered using tables. Fill four bottles with the drip sample collected at the manifold and seal all four bottles. Retain two sample on board, give one to the barge and send one to the laboratory for analysis. Close all the valves in the bunker system. Use the fuel oil transfer pump to transfer oil from one tank to another. It can be used every day to pump the oil from the storage tank to the settling tanks. For easy pumping, maintain the oil temperature well above pour point in the storage tanks. Cold oil has high viscosity and if pumped could damage pipelines and pump parts. 
the purifier carries out the transfer of oil from the settling tank to the service tank. Never pump the fuel oil from the storage or settling tank directly to the service tank as it will result in fuel pump seizing. Inform duty officer while transferring from port to starboard since it involves listing of vessel. The duty officer will arrange for list correction using ballasting operations. For ship to ship transfer, use the main bunker line with appropriate lineup of valves. Since bunkering can be done from either port or starboard manifolds, ensure that one is shut while the other is in use.